Yes, well, who better to ask if he's optimistic about the future than the chairman of Ferrovia, Mr. Del Pino. So thank you for being here on Bloomberg. Overall, Spain does have concerns in Europe that other countries don't have. Are, are you feeling more optimistic about the ability of Spain to recover, or are, do you still have concerns because unemployment is so high? Well, we are optimistic. Uh, we are, as you know, Ferrovial is exposed to other markets as well. So we're already seeing uh, signs of recovery in the US and the UK in uh, our main uh, businesses. Spain is lagging behind a little bit, and uh, we don't have any the traffic rebounds we've had in the toll roads in the US or in the airports in the UK. But the uh, um, traffics are, are being reduced slower, and the signs of consumption picking up. Of course, we do have a, an unemployment problem, but it will improve as public consumption goes up. So, traffic slowing in, in Spain. What about your traffic in concessions overall for this year for 2010? We think 2010 will be better than uh, 2009, and uh, January is slightly better than January last year. So there are hopes for uh, the market picking up already. Hopes for BAA airports? Well, BAA traffic is going up. Uh, as you know, Heathrow uh, was the most uh, resilient of all uh, European airports in the crisis, and, um, and it's already increasing. Now, the portfolio of Ferrovial has changed. I know you sold some assets in Chile. What is going to happen over the next 12 months? Are you looking to buy anything or sell off assets? Well, we sold our real estate business in 2006, which made us um, uh, very little exposed to the real estate crisis. Uh, and we will continue that. Just in time. Well, just <laughs> in time, yeah. I wouldn't say we we're so good forecasters, but we we're lucky also. And uh, uh, we, um, we will be divesting mature assets and investing in uh, new assets in our current business lines, uh, as we've done in the, the US already in Texas, where we have a backlog of uh, several billion. US dollars of investment uh, pending. For, for BAA, will you have to sell any more hubs after Gatwick? Well, we have to wait what happens with the final ruling of the Competition Appeal tri Tribunal and the CC, but uh, yeah, we'll eventually have to sell some assets, hopefully in better market conditions than we did with uh, Gatwick. Uh, well, what about financing? Because Ferrovial has tapped quite a lot into the bond market. Um, is this something that you're going to do in 2010 because you actually see appetite growing a little bit? Yes, well, we have reduced our debt uh, substantially in the last year, and we have also tapped the markets uh, with BAA uh, in December, and we'll continue to do so in 2010. We also financed uh, one of the U.S. toll roads uh, issuing bonds, uh, which was the first in history because the bonds were issued before the road was constructed. So, yes, we'll continue to tap the markets uh, if they um, are liquid as they are now. So, thank you so much. I wanted to ask you what you were here in Davos exactly to do, but I need a one-word answer. Business or, or to rethink the world? Uh, both. Both. <laughs> Great. Both. <laughs> I have the agenda then for you.